It's been a month since we heard of the massive seaweed blob. So what's happened? Is Florida smothered in seaweed? No? Well, not yet. First, let's get some facts straight. It's not a blob. It's a belt made of patches of several species of free-floating marine algae in the genus Sargassum, spanning about 6,000 miles from Western Africa to the Gulf of Mexico called the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt. This is likely the largest bloom ever recorded, weighing a record-breaking 13 million tons. These massive blooms are a new issue. Small sargassum wraps form naturally in the Sargasso Sea and are important ecosystems, acting as an island and nursery in the open ocean, supporting over 70 marine species. Patches infrequently made landfall in the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean and provide essential nutrients to scavenger species on beaches. But since 2011, scientists have seen a massive boom in their size and density and hypothesize that it's driven by humans' overuse of nutrients. This year's bloom is still growing and likely to peak in June or July in the Caribbean and Florida's east coast. Some has already arrived in Key West four months early, these beachings depend on wind, waves, and ocean currents. Major impacts to tourism, economies, and human health are expected. As sargassum decays on beaches, it releases smelly sulfur gas, which causes serious respiratory issues. 